Welcome to the Slingshot channel. A lot of people still like shooting arrows with a slingshot. Well, I've done this before and it's not so bad. And of course you could shoot arrows with a slingshot. With any slingshot. Let me show you how. The easiest method is just to take an arrow, put the end of it into the pouch of a normal slingshot, grab it firmly, it's a little awkward, draw out, and shoot, like this. It works. But as you see, it's not very powerful, so the arrow doesn't go in very deep. And that's because the bands are usually designed for shooting balls. So they are quite long, but the draw length of this is limited by the length of the arrow. So the bands need to be cut much shorter if you want to shoot arrows. Also, the grip is awkward. So you see, what you need to shoot arrows is a string and not a pouch. Also note that the arrow needs guidance in the front. Here, it's just not very accurate because there is so much play. It just dangles so much. See, so you need something that guides it. And ideally, it should be on level with the bands. Just here, not here. Here is a little quick and dirty adapter that I made for the Rambone slingshot. Although I'm planning to make a Rambone model that is much better and much more elegant than this. And as you see, I'm a big fan of the Whisker Biscuit. This is just a replacement disc for the Whisker Biscuit product. And it's basically a set of brushes that are directed inwards and that guide the arrow perfectly well. See? And it allows the fletching to go through without any problem. And also see that this is a string. It's made from paracord with a little bit of Dracon to uh, uh, allow the knocking. And um, this is a, a lot cleaner now. See, it just, it's just mounted to the front with two screws here. Very easy. This is shot with a release that's attached to my wrist and it has like a trigger-like um, function. So when I draw this out, all I have to do is uh, pull the trigger and then the shot falls. Note that this is recessed. Why is it recessed? Well, because otherwise it's a disadvantage that I've seen on many, many other slingbow constructions out there. Otherwise, the string will follow the arrow through this and it will go through the brushes of the uh, whisker biscuit and it will lose its hairs quicker than your run-of-the-mill werewolf when the sun comes up. <laughs> so can this be enhanced some more? I think so. I think when I make a commercial model out of this, you can see that this whole whisker biscuit can be lowered by almost a full inch so that it will still be above your fist but the fork can be a lot lower lowering the strain on your wrist by a great deal now this could no longer be a safe slingshot because shooting stones or steel balls would be too dangerous so you can hit your hand but an arrow that is guided by a whisker biscuit that's not an issue so I will be making a prototype about that next. By the way, I just learned that a college class had to prove my uh, claim that um, a slingshot can hit harder than a handgun in terms of momentum. Well, sorry guys, I didn't mean to torture you with a slingshot. Although most of the students seemed like they mastered the task just fine. <laughs> so, that's it for today. I hope you liked this. Thanks and bye-bye.